This is Eagle News, Washington, D.C., and I am Jennifer Polentan. A clarinet player for the Iglesia de Cristo Symphony Orchestra, Christina Ambas of Florida, tells Eagle News this opportunity to perform at the Lincoln Center in New York is a dream come true. Take a look. Well, music has always been a part of my life ever since I could remember. I think I started when I was in the second grade because I went to an art school. And um, without it, uh, I wouldn't have any way to express myself and um, make bonds and friendships with people that I probably would have never even crossed paths with. It allowed me to have a broader appreciation for all the different genres and styles of music rather than just maybe classical. Um, I also learned how to appreciate modern music and different types of music from different countries and cultures. I don't know how to feel honestly, but um, I feel excited and honored but also humbled because I'm only 22 and a lot of people that have been going to different prestigious art schools for many years have not even had the chance to be able to perform in the Lincoln Center but someone who doesn't really have that much experience in different music. I, I didn't go to school for music. I only was in the band in school in elementary, middle and high school and it was I've never thought about going to school for music because it just wasn't something I wanted to pursue. It was just a hobby I loved. I'm just speechless, honestly, because I thought we were going to perform in like maybe another like venue, but then when they told us it was the Lincoln Center, we're all excited. Joining Christina in New York this Sunday are musician siblings Aaron and Courtney Dazzler, INC Symphony Orchestra's cello and piano players. Aaron and Courtney agree that performing for a church production on a world-renowned stage that is the Lincoln Center is a concrete goal they are humbled to achieve. Let's get to know them more. So, love for music has mostly influenced my life, um, foremost through the choir and the CWS choir, especially as we grew up love, learning to love to sing but also through our lessons, our music lessons. Um, for me, it was piano lessons that really allowed me to grow my love for music. In middle school, I was really involved in the chorus programs, and that really inspired me to continue my studies in music and ultimately um, do the INC piano competition and also the symphony orchestra. I started off on violin for a year, and then I played piano for a couple of years, and then I quit both of those. Then I started playing cello when I think I was in sixth grade. I did the opera school show, and then now I'm in the Nancy's. Our preparation for the oratorio, um, especially involved us going to Houston and Humble, Texas. We had a lot of practices there. We practiced here and um, locally with. Um, especially within our family, we practice the oratorio. I think avenues like this, like performing at such prestigious venues such as the Lincoln Center, I think that really sets for us a concrete goal in mind. Uh, we need, um, especially for our workshop, we need to set an example, we need to set a standard that um, all, we can put out, our church can put out um, a high standard of performance. And I think that's um, a significant goal for us to be well performing. I think uh, the uh, Filipino gathering is something that classical music that normally you wouldn't associate with the Filipino uh, culture like provides a different side to it and shows that um, we can like participate in some of the like as Sister Courtney said quote unquote high culture things and it shows that the the church can also participate in like works such as classical music. Performing this Sunday at the David Geffen Hall of the Lincoln Center is the Iglesia de Cristo Symphony Orchestra, the INC Symphonic Choir, and Rodala UK. Performances start at 7 p.m. in the evening. That is today's Eagle News, Washington, D.C. Join us tomorrow for stories that matter to you. Visit our websites at eaglenews.ph and eaglenewslive.com. Like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter at twitter.com slash eaglenewsph. Thank you for watching. 
I am Jennifer Pollentant and I am one with 25.